वॉइस रिकॉर्डिंग चालू करो स्टार्ट करो चालू करो गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंस्पेक्टर डिजाइन एंड सिस्टम वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द बेसिक आईडिया अबाउट द कंक्रीट नाउ व्हाट इज कंक्रीट कंक्रीट इज द मिक्सचर ऑफ फाइन एग्रीगेट कोर्स एग्रीगेट एंड वाटर हियर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज द कोर्स एग्रीगेट फाइन एग्रीगेट एंड वाटर एंड द सीमेंट how in which proportion we are going to arrange or we are going to add that will decide which type of concrete what we are going to design suppose there is a concrete that is m10 now what is m10 m stands for mix and 10 stands for its characteristic term m10 tell you that it is a concrete which is having the 10 newton per mm square characteristic term what is this this is the strength of that concrete that is going to be find out after 28 days so characteristic strength will be decided on the basis of what amount of strength that the, that the concrete is going to take after the after when it is hardened so 10 newton means it is what it is the amount of the strength that the concrete is going to take it should depends on this mixture which type of mixture we are going to do suppose in m20 it is 1 is to 4 is to 8 this is the ratio that we are going to take here one is cement four is fine aggregate and eight is coarse aggregate and the water cement ratio that what, what we are going for generally it is 0.5 water cement ratio that what we are going to take for generally so this is what concrete is it is a intimate mixture of the cement coarse aggregate water now what we are going to add in it suppose this is what the basic idea about the concrete now if we want to increase some working of the concrete or the something we want to add the quality that we are going to add some admixture now what is admixture admixture is anything that can accelerate or deaccelerate the equation of the concrete as we know that suppose for a mass construction which type of concrete we need that type of concrete we need which is of having low setting time so th for that we will add some admixture that is like gypsum gypsum what will what the gypsum will do it will retard the setting time of the concrete so it will try to it will move the it will give the concrete for last for uh, for having uh, very high high construction suppose high construction or that will take some time to construct or to take the strength that is what admixture now admixtures may be mineral or chemical it is of two type it may be mineral or it may be chemical now different types of concrete what we are going to design there are two types of concrete what we are going to design first one is nominal design nominal design is that type of concrete for which on the basis of the experience we can say that yes this is m10 or this is m20 this is the what we have the ratio is fixed that is 1 is to 4 is to 8 1 is to 3 is to 6 that is for m15 and like this there is fixed ratio but what is design mix when we are going to change this ratio then we have to provide some other ratio for that we have to do the design mix that what we can study for we can study later now this is what about basic idea about the concrete now for changing versatility of the concrete will be dependent on the locally available material suppose you are going to construct it at different places where the you don't have some admixtures or you don't have some such material this this aggregate or this mixture will be dependent on the locally available it is locally available or not so it should depend on the locally available or material ease in the molding so which type of material you are using in the concrete that will depend how it will be molded it in it in any shape and size and the economy in its making has made the concrete the largest consumed material in the on the earth so that's why we are making all the all the things with the help of concrete this is what the concrete now coming to what should be the essential strength for the good concrete what should be the requirement of the good concrete a good concrete should meet the strength required as measured by the compressive strength now i have told you this is m10 is having the compressive strength of 10 newton per mm square this is what its compressive strength so what is what should the good concrete should possess it should have the maximum compressive strength as we know that concrete is good in compression that's why we should have this strength should be maximum what should be the compressive strength now coming to fulfill the durability requirement suppose we have constructed the concrete but it is not fulfilling our durability suitability or dur we are not having this durable so it is not of any use 
That's why it should fulfill our durability requirement to resist the environment in which the structure is expected to serve. So for which type of purpose we are going to use that concrete, that should be served. That is what the second requirement. Now it should be mixed, compact, transported as efficiently as possible. Because when we construct the concrete, but it is not completely mixed or if it is not transported at that time or it is not compacted, then it is of not use. So it should be done properly. Now will be as economical as well. That is most important. Concrete should be as economical as possible. This is what basic idea about the concrete. Now coming to the mixed design. Now what it is clear there is two type of design. Nominal that is what on the basis of experience we have said that this type of ratio should be taken. This, there, this ratio should be fixed. Now in case of design mix, we have to change the ratio. We have to add something. We have to or delete something. We will change this ratio. Then only we will do the design mix. For that we will have some step. And for that we have to follow the, there are two codes, IS-456 and IS-10262. These are the two types of codes that we are going to use in the design mix. Why we are going to use the code? Because as we know that in India, we have to construct the concrete and you can design it in a different way. But there is some particular code that we should have to follow. We have to follow that rules from that code. This is what the design steps has been given in that code. First, we, what we have to do, we have to find out the target mean strength. Suppose why we are constructing the concrete for use a, it as a structural member. So while we are designing the structural member, there is some strength that the client will give us that this, this amount of strength that we require. Suppose they will say that 20 Newton per mm square is the strength that what we want. So the design strength should be 20 Newton per mm square. For that we have to design. So for that we will find out the mean characteristic strength. 20 is the characteristic strength, but we have to design for that. So we will take some higher value of that. It will be not 20, it should be more than 20. So it will be little bit 22 or 25. So we will decide that this is the, this is the design strength. So according to that we will have some, we will not have some mathematical formula. We will use some empirical formula for designing. That can be changed time by time because there is standard deviation can be used that the quality will be interchanged because the concrete is a material that can be constructed on the site. That's why the safety parameters should also be taken. So this is how we are going to do design mix. Now what are the basic thing that has been given in your syllabus is how long it will work. The durability and the economical part and the water cement ratio that what we are going to use. Because while constructing the concrete, the most important part is the water cement ratio. How much the water cement ratio what we are going to use. That has been fixed in your IS code. That will be, suppose you are going to design for foundation, the water cement ratio should be 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 like this. It should be maximum 0.5. So this is what the water cement ratio should be there. And the durability should also depend on that. So this is what basic idea about what we are going to do. Thank you.